Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aish from Malayala. So finally, uh, I'm restarting the content for all the class 12 students out there uh, who are going to give their uh, JE 2024 uh, this year. I mean, of course, the upcoming 2024 year. Uh, so I was a little confused where to start, uh, what content, what video I have to post first and all. So uh, that's the reason I also put one community post regarding that. asking for suggestions but uh, after seeing my analytics over past few weeks so the views on the category certificate related videos were on the higher side so i thought maybe many people are having doubts regarding this certificates and all for je mains uh, je advance and josa so i want to give a clarity on this particular this stuff so that is the reason the video is here so please do support me by subscribing the channel if you have been done yet so make sure you share this video to all your friends who are going to attend je 2024 also if you are a je 2025 aspirant you can also watch this video you will also have a clear idea about certificates required for je mains advance and josa okay so first thing is je mains application is done so you will be writing the exam then whoever gets qualified they will be writing je advance once je advance result is out josa counseling will be conducted and based on the Uh, rank you get in JEE mains and advance accordingly in IIT, IIT, Triple IIT, GFT, IIT you can choose and you can get the seat. So during this whole process, there are few instances where you need to submit some certificates. So all the certificates I will be discussing now and uh, regarding very some really important details also I will be talking here in this particular video. Okay, let's get into the video. First thing is I will tell you the list of certificates which are like common for everyone irrespective of their category. So they are like government ID card. It can be Aadhar card or uh, driving license or something like that, or passport. Uh, it can be like that. And next thing is JOSA format medical certificate. So there will be a format given by JOSA once they release the business rules after the JEE advanced results. So in that whole PDF there will be one page with this particular medical certificate format. You need to download and get the uh, certificate filled with a doctor with signature stamp and registration number on it. So we will discuss later on that during JOSA. now as of now just uh, keep that in the mind that format will be coming once josa details are uh, announced so that will be after je advanced result next thing is 10th class memo or mark sheet or grade sheet whatever okay so 10th grade sheet so most of you, all of you will have it for sure next thing is 12th grade sheet mark sheet or memo so uh, it can be short memo or long memo in terms of uh, telangana and ap uh, like others if you are cbse you will get having mark sheet so yeah and uh, transfer certificate from the school or college you will get that and migration certificate you will you have to apply this from from your board usually for cbse people they give the migration certificate just after the school itself but if you are a state board student usually in telangana and ap they don't give you migration certificate you have to upload the migration certificate apply the migration certificate on the board's website and get that migration certificate and next thing is conduct certificate so usually tc migration and conduct certificate they'll not ask you during josa but they will ask you while by the time you join the college okay next important thing is income certificate one thing uh, which uh, colleges ask if you are uh, if you want to apply for fee waiver okay so for sc st pwd even if they don't submit any income certificate their fees is zero tuition fees extra fees and uh, hostel fees they have to pay and in terms of general generally ws obc and cl if they want to apply for fee waiver government uh, offered fee waiver they need to submit the valid income certificate given by tahsildar or uh, revenue department of their particular state so for example uh, if um, so there will be two categories in this one is uh, below 1 lakh category and one more is 1 to 5 lakhs category if you are below 1 lakh you will not have tuition fee just uh, you have to pay extra fees and hostel fees that's it uh, same like scst pwd in terms of 1 to 5 lakh 1 by 3rd of the tuition fee should be paid by you if the tuition fee is 1 lakh you have to pay 33000 something like that so the 2 by 3rd will be paid by the government so that's how tuition fee waiver works but for this you need to submit income certificate as a proof they, this particular income certificate they will not ask you during josa they will ask you while you join the college okay based on the income category you choose they will ask you to submit the proof for sc st pwd again i'm saying you need not to submit any income proof okay uh now the thing is uh, in this income certificate so the date uh, of issue for the, of this particular income certificate should be should be after april 1st 2024 only if the date is before april 1st 2024 they will not accept it while you are joining the college okay so this date is uh, compulsory for every college and regarding the format and all they'll ask you either it should be on your name or it should be on your father name or mother name or both father and mother so although uh, all that depends on the college 
but date for sure it should be after april 1st because financial year will end march in march so that's the reason they want exact present details that means previous financial year details so that is the reason they ask you after april 1st the date of issue should be after april 1st above 5 lakhs you need not to submit any certificate you have to pay the fees that's it if you don't submit any income certificate you are considered as above 5 lakh student and you have to pay the fees total tuition fees hostel fees extra fees okay now coming to uh, category wise category certificates first let's talk about sc st pwd see sc st certificate it can be of any years even if you have 5 years old back uh, certificate it, it is a valid certificate which if it is issued by your uh, government uh, government of uh, your state uh, like yeah and coming to pwd pwd certificate you have to make it uh, uh, properly in recent times that would be better and it should at least have 40% disability and after you submit that certificate so before you your seat gets confirmed after seat gets allotment and before getting it confirmed you will be having one medical test so you need to go to go there have the medical test done and if that doctor also accepts that yeah you have 40% disability then your seat will be confirmed or else if your seat won't be confirmed your seat will be cancelled so you will not be considered as a pwd student so yeah make sure you have a proper uh, valid certificate regarding this okay next uh, that's it uh, about sc st pwd now talking about general usually general need not to submit any uh, category certificate they don't have any category certificate whoever didn't submit any category certificate they are considered as general students okay now general ews general ews certificate and obc ncl certificate the rules for making these two are almost similar so uh, like one of the category to issue these is their income their fam annual family income should be less than 8 lakh something like this rule is, rule is there right so in order to satisfy that rule again the certificate should be made after april 1st 2024 if you submit before april 1st 2024 in that case it will become a problem they will not accept it you your seat will be cancelled okay so category certificate will be asked during josa and after josa when you join the college they also ask you at that time also at that time also they check that date for sure okay make sure you have the proper certificate april after april 1st 2024 i know because of you when you are applying for jeems they ask you for certificates you have made now but this is not going to help you or this is not going to be valid certificate at, during josa at the during josa josa will be conducted usually in june something like that june july something so at that time so you have to make new one for sure the date should be after april 1st whatever you have now even if you made just today also it is not valid April first, twenty twenty four, on or after April first, twenty twenty four, is what mandatory. And during JEE advance also, they will ask you to upload the certificate, OBC and CL, EWS, General EWS, SC, ST, PWD certificates. They will ask you to upload. If you don't have, just what you can do is just uh, submit declaration form. Even I will suggest that. So better submit a uh, declaration form for the for that particular time, uh, saying that I will be submitting the certificate. as and when required during the josa please accept my uh, application if at all there is any issue you can cancel my seat you can take legal action according to me like that all those things will be there in that particular declaration form just upload that and during josa you can submit after april 1st certificate okay so this is what you can do so mainly for ews and general uh, gen- mainly for general ews and obc ncl april 1st 2024 is mandatory and uh, yeah as i already said sc st pwd students there is no date uh, restrictions for you guys uh, now you might ask me like anna we have submitted declaration now uh, can we submit the declaration again during je advance yes you can do that declaration submission again during je advance final submission can be during josa only during josa they will not give you option for declaration so please keep that in the mind so the issue here will be you can take of course you can take create new certificate now itself and upload it but when you go Uh, for uh, income certificate or cash certificate after april 1st no the revenue department people or tahsildar uh, office people will say that recently you have took now why we, why we have to give you like will not issue one more certificate within less than one, one year will not do it it is not possible like that they will say so people have faced these issues it they it possibility is there they can give it but people they will say they will say that way so that's why i'm asking you if you don't have certificates don't make it now may make sure you make everything after april 1st uh, th- that would be the best 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 way possible there won't be any problems later on okay 
so yeah uh, that's it uh, about the category certificates and all this so if you still have any more doubts related to jos or j mains or j advance let me know in the comment section i'm ready to help you out here and yeah let's be active from now on at least and let me know what all other videos you want from my side i am ready to give it all for you okay chalo that's it guys uh, that's it for this video if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind come on guys do subscribe if you haven't done yet okay bye bye